Cells require a supply of glucose in the blood. Energy is essential for all cells to live and to be able to perform their necessary functions. Energy is stored in cells in the form of a molecule known as adenosine triphosphate, or ATP. When ATP is broken down, it gives off energy that is used by cells. The energy given off when ATP is broken down provides cells the energy they need for the transport of molecules and numerous other functions essential for life. Without the energy ATP provides, cells of the diaphragm could not contract to stimulate breathing, kidney cells could not reabsorb water, brain cells could not secrete neurotransmitters, and life would not be possible. It is essential that cells are able to continually produce ATP. Glucose plays a fundamentally important role in the production of ATP. Glucose itself is not used to build new ATP. Rather, the breakdown of glucose can provide the energy necessary for new ATP to be formed. Fatty acids and amino acids can also be used to produce ATP. However, glucose is the most regulated molecule that can be used to produce ATP. Number 2. Blood glucose is kept in a constant range. In a healthy individual, about two hours after a meal, blood glucose levels are normally between 100 and 140 milligrams of glucose per deciliter of blood, mg per dl. After 24 hours of fasting, blood glucose levels in a healthy individual normally range between 60 to 80 milligrams per deciliter. Thus, the range of blood glucose in a healthy individual from fasted to well-fed is between 60 to 140 mg per deciliter. When factors act to increase or decrease blood glucose, the body responds by keeping blood glucose in this range of 60 to 140 mg per deciliter. The reason for keeping blood glucose in a constant range is because of the demand for glucose by the brain and the rest of the central nervous system. While other tissues of the body can rely on glucose, fatty acids, and amino acids to produce ATP, the entire central nervous system, including the brain, can only utilize glucose to produce ATP. In extreme circumstances of starvation, the liver can produce ketone bodies that the brain can use instead of glucose, but ketone bodies do not normally exist in the blood of healthy individuals. Therefore, in order to keep the brain and other central nervous system cells alive, a certain amount of glucose must always be present in the blood for the central nervous system to feed off of. Since the amount of glucose the central nervous system requires doesn't change much, the amount of glucose needed in the blood doesn't change much, and blood glucose levels are kept in a relatively constant range. However, Maintaining enough glucose in the blood is not the only factor affecting how the body monitors blood glucose. Too much glucose in the blood can also lead to health problems. Hypoglycemia, meaning not enough glucose in the blood, can lead to nervous system dysfunction such as hyperventilating, hallucinations, anxiety, and even causing a coma. Hyperglycemia, meaning too much glucose in the blood, is associated with neuropathies, cardiac arrhythmias, stroke, and can also lead to being in a coma. Therefore, the body works to keep blood glucose levels high enough to keep the central nervous system alive, but low enough to avoid hyperglycemia and its corresponding health problems. The main organ involved in regulating blood glucose levels is the liver, 